I think this arrow marks the precise spot where I was born, where the white owl came and sat on my mother's bed and watched the performance. And in its place, a great road now runs between Newport and Cardiff. Opposite, some of the old landmarks remain, the Wesleyan Chapel, but minus the tall and graceful spire that I always associated with it. Next door, the police station, down below the field where we used to play football. But on this side, all the houses, the shop, the inn, all had vanished. I had a job to get my bearings, although I was standing on the spot where our front lawn used to be. I began to wonder indeed if I'd even find anyone there who could tell me anything about it. I remembered that opposite, there used to live a family whose name was Perrot, and an old man emerged from his garden, and thinking this might be Arthur Perrot, I went over to him. Recognition was slow on his part, but at last he carried his mind back 30 years and, of course, remembered me. And there in front of the Baptist chapel where the Swifts used to scream in summer, we discussed some of the people I knew there uh, before I left 30 years ago. Behind our house, the castle still stands and the fountain where they put the roach when the mill pool was emptied many other old familiar landmarks were no longer to be found. In these circumstances, of course, it's not easy to get your bearings. And on then to the village church where three generations of my family have their last resting place. In this church are commemorated three of my father's brothers who were slain in battle in South Africa, in France and Flanders. Here too, my only brother lies and there is the grave of my father himself. A few yards away, across the daisy-studied turf, and my grandparents, who brought me up, have their last resting place. And the old Sexton's cottage across the churchyard has long since tumbled into ruin. But a few yards across the path is a bay tree and the leaves I found are as fragrant as when I first knew them 40 odd years ago. My father had a sister who lies here and two of her grandchildren, knowing that I was in the churchyard, came shyly to meet me and together we walked around the farm by the church, which stands almost, as it were, on an island in this very low-lying country beside the Bristol Channel. Much of it, indeed, is below sea level, and a great sea wall protects it. I always remember this place as being alive with dogs and chickens, and the familiar landmark of the old wagons there took my mind way back. Familiar sights and sounds and smells made me feel that I was rereading the pages of some almost forgotten diary. Well, I'd come to Monmouthshire to fish in my headquarters, the livery and bait stables at the sign of the three salmons in the Usk Valley. I look forward to opening day every year and try and make it a different river each time my first job to collect my permit from the fishing tackle shop and the badge of the Welsh Fly Fishers Association on the car of my old friend Lionel Sweet, its president. He was just, in fact, setting off to fish for salmon himself. My quarry on this day, trout, a magpie, one for sorrow, a bad sign at the start of a fishing day. But this is something we can rectify in an old and traditional way by pouring out a generous libation of whiskey and consigning it to the Usk. First of all, O Usk, deliver up thy trout. All we ask is a brace. And now, coats off, opening day, let's get down to business. And the first fly, an early brown appropriately enough, crawls down the hairs of my bare forearm. And that's the fly I'm waiting for, the March brown, normally an April fly, but this year hatching very early. 
and when the March browns appear on the surface of the water, very soon the trout show some interest, and the great thing is to be ready for them when they begin to rise. Now the Usk is a big and strong river, rises in Carmarthenshire and flows out into the Bristol Channel at Newport, and you've got to be very careful on the boulder-strewn bed of this stream, because in this strong current, if you lost your footing, I think you'd be in some peril. And it so happened that most of the trout were rising way over under that far bank, a longish cast, and it called for careful balance on my part uh, to avoid falling into the water and being swept away. I had expected a different fly to be on the water on this day, but the fish took my imperial readily enough as they were feeding on the March browns. Big, dark, mottled flies, March browns. We don't get them in Wiltshire at all because they hatch only in waters with a stony bed. And my first trout was fighting gamely, considering the earliness of the season surprisingly strongly. And in that very heavy water, when the fish got below me, I had to be very careful how I coaxed it up towards me and the net. Otherwise, the fly could easily have pulled free of the fish. I'm hoping now, any moment, to net my first trout of the 1966 season. And there it is, a fish, only an ounce or so, short of a pound. Much better fish than the average for this water. Hunting country this, and hunters being exercised from time to time on this lovely sunny opening day. The March brown hatches in flurries. They don't continue to come up in any sustained way. A few will appear, and then 10 minutes you see nothing at all. The fish seem to go right off the rise. Then perhaps another flurry. And in the fields hard by, many newborn lambs. These Welsh mountain sheep lamb a lot earlier than our grass sheep do in Wiltshire. And there, among the lambs, a carrion crow was walking, apparently causing them very little concern. Hunting, I think, for insects, probably for once doing some good. Well, I was anxious to try and make up a brace of trout if I could, and when the March Browns came up again in a second flurry, I worked hard to try and interest a fish rising upstream. Before very long, my fly came over him along with two natural flies, and he picked out my artificial, much to my satisfaction. This fish, too, fought hard, though not quite as big as the earlier one. A fish more like the usk average, round about 10 or 11 ounces. Well, that gave me my brace, the opening brace of the season. Time to toast them. Good health and yachida.